UCLA, Spanish Club, and is the 2024 Distinguished Young Woman of Fulton County. After graduation, Rihanna will attend Purdue University and study biomedical health sciences on the Ruben Edge track. Rihanna will be Dr. Ostia after college. Rihanna Ostia.
visitors on the scoreboard, the Warriors of North Miami High School. Of first a junior, number 32, Jake Riley. A junior, number 30, Greg. Another junior, number 34, Drew Wright. A sophomore, number 24, Blake Musaw. And a sophomore, number 22, Greg Merrill. The Warriors are coached by Rock Deneen. Pete, well, we've got the senior loaded lineup here this evening. That puts Zyder in the center circle instead of Hook for this opening tip. You know, Zyder over Stenson is an interesting choice, but uh, and there the tip goes towards the North Miami Warriors as number 30, Ray Pickett brings the ball up. Green. Back up top, Lake Musall has it. Now pick it again. He's going to hand it off. Riley has it. He'll look to restart the offense here. Back to pick it, near side. Looks back door, doesn't find anybody. Riley drives, kicks, pick it now. Top of the key. Hard defense by Klinger there. This Comet defense really not leaving anything open for North Miami. Uh, great strong defense in there. Open lane to the basket, number 24. Lake Musall puts it in for two. Well, I spoke a little too soon there, North Miami. Spoke, drawing first blood here tonight. Spoke that one into existence. Lob to Caleb Stinson, that's in for two. JV Collins did the same thing with Reed Summers and long pass caught by Pickett. He's going to dump it out to Musall. Now Riley has it. And JV Comets with a huge win over the uh, JV Warriors. Wow, rebounded by the Warriors and put back is off, but he draws a foul. Foul here on uh, 21, Corbin Smith, that'll be his first, team first, in that dubious honor of game first. First free throw up and good. Right, looking to put his second one in, and he does. Good roll there for him. As Stenson brings the ball up for the Comets with a minute 30 gone in the first quarter. Zyder gets the handoff. Craig, Stenson. Stenson, Zyder, Zyder three. Off the mark, Klinger saves it. And Stenson has it. Craig 
Dumps to Stenson. Back to Craig, near wing. The Warriors not allowing much for the Comets offense. Looks like we might be in for a defensive show out tonight. Smith has it at top of the key. Zyder looks to take a shot. He'll give it to Stinson. Stinson pulls up, doesn't put it in. Smith with the rebound, though. He's going to get fouled. Foul on the floor there. Charge to number 24, Luke Musall. His first, team first. Smith to Stinson. Zyder. Zyder drives. Left-handed layup and goes in for two. Comets putting on hard pressure. Pick it to Musall. Musall gives the Riley. Riley drives. He's going to charge. Lowers his shoulders, and the ref sees it. Well, that's two on the Warriors. I, I'll be honest, Pete. I was looking for a travel call there. The, uh, the charge call kind of caught me off guard. They used that jump stop there, but uh, he, he still lowered his shoulder, so they called him. Now Comets with the ball. Klinger has it, three on the way, just short. And Musall gets the rebound, but it's tipped around. Stinson has it, right-handed layup is in for two. Stinson now giving the Comets their first lead. Pick it. Dumps, far side right, drives, Musall top of the key. Kicks it down low, Riley, he gets an open look there. Stinson didn't see the ball come in. Coach Davis wanting the Comets to keep, keep up the pace. Smith has it, top of the key. Hard cuts by Alex Craig. Lob pass into Smith, it's gonna be out of bounds. Grant Yaden will take the floor for the Comets. As well as Lane Hook. Seniors getting four minutes of playing time there to start the game. Esau finds an open cut there. Right, pass tip. Got it in the hands of Riley. We're going to get a foul there. I think that'll be on Stinson. That it is. Stinson picks up his first. Team second. It was a shooting foul. Meredith goes to the line to shoot two. First free throw is off to the right. Second free throw, up and good. Seven to six, with half of the first quarter gone, North Miami leads. Hook has it near wing, he'll give to Craig. He'll dump it down low to Yaden. Yaden puts that one in for two. You saw a long pass to Meredith. He's gonna spin, he's gonna walk with it there. Walk with it. It looked like he broke his ankle. Yeah. He uh, looks like he may have just you know lost his footing there, uh, but he uh, still still got to dribble the basketball. You but, know, as much as I want to say that, oh, you you can't do that. We saw that Saturday in the girls' game. Yaden shot off the mark. Puts it back up. It's off the mark. Craig's gonna get called for over and back. And that'll be his first team third. Uh, but that uh, Davis from yeah. from uh, Marquette Catholic, she was sliding on the ground, just still dribbling along. Yeah, I mean, as long as you're dribbling the basketball, <laughs> they can't call you for traveling. They, that is a couple other things they can call you for, but <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't take a hike. Now Lane Hook knocks that one away from behind, and now Stinson has it. He's going to fake. Drive. He's going to kick Zyder near wing. He'll put up a three. Boom, baby, from downtown Fulton. 
Comets now four point advantage, just under three to play in the first. Warriors beat the press. Pickett puts it in for two. Stinson tries to pass it to Hook. Pickett read that one all the way. Now Wright has it, he'll dump to Riley. Riley drives, kicks. Right up top, Riley's gonna set up the offense. Number 32, Jake Riley. Nisal passes down low, loose ball, Stinson grabs it. Stinson has it now. He's gonna pass it to Yaden. That's gonna be a foul there on, uh, I believe, Drew Wright. Drew Wright picks up his first team third. Klingler checks back in for the Comets. Caleb Stinson will get a break. I know Caleb hasn't been feeling well the last couple of days, so probably going to see a little less playing time from him today, tonight. Hook goes up. No, he's going to walk with it. You know, I know there's a lot of motion with the upper body, Pete, but I think the hook's feet were planted in that. Yeah, a lot of bodies down there. It's hard to tell. And unfortunately, it's not my not my vision that counts. Pass tipped. Looked like a volleyball uh, set there. Uh, went out of bounds off a clinger. Under two in the first. Comet's still with that two-point lead. 11-9. Usall has it. He kicks to right. Riley, baseline, puts up a jump shot. Can't get it to roll in. Now Klinger brings it down quick. He's going to drive all the way, dump to Molenkoff. Molenkoff gets swatted from behind by Riley. Big swat there. I think he took that miss at the other end personal, Pete. Yeah, he was not happy. <coughs> Clear, inbound into Molikoff. He's gonna lob it down low to Yaden. Yaden, shot fake, then goes up and draws the foul. Foul there, charged to number 30, Ray Pickett, his first team fourth. One thing I've noticed this year, especially from Yaden, is a lot more shot fakes down there in the post, drawing more fouls. First free throw is up and off the front iron. Kale Dirtuff comes in for the Warriors. Caleb Stinson back out on the floor for your comments. Cider will take a break. Yaden, second free throw, too long. Jake Riley pulls down the rebound. Yaden steals that pass. He looks to take it all the way. Reverse layup doesn't fall. Molikoff rebound off the mark. Hook shot doesn't fall. Riley with the rebound. Looked like he uh, kind of fell a couple feet forward with that one. He's going to get it out to Deardor. Deerdorf. Now Musall got shoved there by Gavin Molenkoff. No foul call. Deerdorf has it. He's going to kick out to right. Musall, Lake Musall, with 45 seconds to go in the first. Jake Riley, jump shot. It goes in off the bank board. Well, that'll tie us up as we're hitting 30 seconds left in the first. Stinson drives all the way. Shot doesn't fall. It's going to go. He's going to be out of bounds when he stepped on it. When he, stepped, when he grabbed it, he was out of bounds. I have a feeling at this, uh, this period break here that uh, Coach might talk about completing as, you, as you're down at the basket. It seems like we just saw four layups missed. Three ball off the mark for Riley. 
Riley put that one up quick. We're under 10. Yated, hook, seven, five. five. Hook drives, left handed layup, falls. All right, well at the end of one, it's Caston 13, North Miami 11. We'll be back for second quarter action. You're watching Cast of Comets Basketball on RTC TV4. And welcome to the second quarter here at Caston High School. We'll start with your Comets having possession. Stenson, Zyder, Yaden, Stenson, Zyder, corner three, doesn't fall. Riley has the rebound. He's gonna hold it in the backcourt. He's bringing it across. He drives, jump stop, shot up and good. Impressive job there by Riley. Stenson kicks the Zyder. Craig, hook. Stenson, top of the key. He'll kick the Zyder near side to hook in the corner. Down low, pass tip to the out of bounds off of the Warriors. Oh, North Miami fans not happy with that call. That's well how it looked from up here though, Pete. Yeah, I, I thought they made the right call down there on the floor. Lob pass into Stinson. He's gonna drive, jump stop, shot up, off the mark. Rebound attempt, falls into the hands of Drew Wright. Now Lake Musall has it. Deardorf. Good help side defense there by the Comets. Riley drives baseline, shot off the mark, rebound by Hook, jump ball, possession North Miami. I just saw Coach Davis on the sideline. He doesn't look very happy right now. You saw inbounds, right. Now Riley. Deardorf back up to Musall. Near side Riley. North Miami taking their time. Looking for open looks. Riley, three on the way, just short. Rebounded by Yaden. Stinson gives it down the quick to hook. Stenson into the post. Yaden hook three. Just too long. Craig with the rebound though. Zyder. Zyder crosses over, kicks. Craig three. Boom, baby from downtown Marshtown. Great ball movement there. Great work by Zyder getting Craig open in the corner. Now my North Miami thought Deardorf was going to take a deep three there. Now Meredith gives it to Musall. Musall is going to take it all the way himself. Right-handed layup falls in. Yeah, lucky roll off the backboard there. He threw that one under the rim and it rolled up. been the story of the last couple of home games that if our guys aren't hitting with laser precision, there's one. Three pointer from Caleb Stinson. Zyder gets a hand on the pass. You know, sometimes it's just enough to break the flow of the momentum. Reed Summers coming in for the Comets. Riley drives, he's gonna pass it right into Reed Summers' hands. Summers gives a Stinson. Summers, near wing. I thought he walked with that one. So did the North Miami crowd. I tend to agree, but again, doesn't matter if we see it. it only matters if the stripes do. 
Pass tipped out of bounds. Stinson tried to send it baseline to hook. Zyder inbounds to Yaden. Yaden gives it to Summers. Zyder in the corner down to Yaden. Yaden shot fake. He gets tipped. It's going to be out of bounds off of Lake Musaw as he pulled down the steal. There was a lot of contact on that arm. Yeah, Yaden definitely thought it uh, should have been a foul, but of course he would have. Long inbound into Zyder. Summers. Summers uses a screen, gives it to Stinson, down into the post. Zyder three. Boom, baby, from downtown. That was a media. amazing ball movement there. That reverse dump back outside. Great hustle by Reed Summers coming from behind to knock that one. Deardorf gets trapped. He sends it to Riley. Riley, right-handed shot off the mark. Stinson pulls down the rebound. Pass to Zyder near corner three. Just a little too long. Couldn't get it to roll in. Musall drives. Uses a screen. M Meredith gets fouled on the shot. <laughs> that was a big shove. Lane Hook there picking up his first foul. Team first of the quarter. And... Uh, First foul of the second quarter. Pretty pretty clean quarter so far. Absolutely. Meredith may need to go get checked out for whiplash after that shove, though. Yeah. Hook was complaining there about something, but I wasn't quite sure. Because he, he definitely shoved <laughs> that was, They could have seen that one from space. First shot there. Meredith may be uh, knocked completely out of calibration here. Now let's see if he's, uh, and Yaden jumps over the line and we're gonna get a lane violation here. And he gets another chance, so his second, but technically third free throw, and it is short. It didn't even touch the rim. Again, I think that calibration's all out yeah, of line. Yeah, he definitely, they might just give him a breathe, quick breather. <laughs> a lot of conversation here from the officials in the middle of the floor. Yeah, the official conversation. Don't know what that was about. Uh, that's where we need to have the official mic'd up. That would be... I don't know, that one looked a little intense. So they might not have wanted us to be having mic'd on that one. Oh well. Sends it near side. Sends it across the court. Long pass. Zyder using some leaps there. If he would have used that kind of verticality during the tip, he might have gotten it. Zyder, top of the key, three. Boom, baby from downtown Fletcher's Lake. Deardorf in the corner. He'll kick back up to Riley. Musall brought that down quick. I thought he was going to drive it all the way. That three by Zyder puts the Comets at a double-digit lead now, 25-15. Uh, With 2.45 to go in the first half. Riley drives baseline, puts up a shot. Great defense by Molenkoff, not to foul there. Stinson three, just off the mark. Meredith gets the rebound. There's a shoe on the floor. Molikoff's going to put that back on. Riley, corner three. That one's in and out. As Zyder pulls down the rebound. And Gavin Molikoff still doesn't have the shoe on, I don't think. <laughs> you know, he's, got, he's running with a flat tire there. Coach Davis is trying to get a timeout to get that fixed. He's going to use a 30. He was jumping up and down and waving. It looked like a castaway trying to signal a plane. Zyder was over there uh, dribbling, and he was kind of looking back like, you guys don't hear that? The, what's going on here? Well, I'm amazed that they didn't call an official's timeout when Molenkoff ran out of his shoe. 
Well, it's, since uh, we didn't have possession, uh, they were they, they got to let uh, let North Miami take advantage of that. Of the quick. numbers, okay. Same thing would happen if like somebody got foul or got was laying on the ground down there. As long as the ball's over here, you know, still in play to say, they'd have to let that play out for a little bit. Now Zyder, three. Boom, baby, from downtown Mount Pleasant. Yeah, he is on fire tonight. Comets can just keep feeding him out on the arc. There, we're going to get a foul on Zyder, I think. Yeah, they're going to call that a block. His first, team second. And not into Riley. Riley was almost not across the timeline to take that into the backcourt. He's going to kick far side to right. Right thought about that uh, Thought about that three ball twice. Summers got his foot on that one. Uh, if he would have been any later on that, that pass would have gotten through. And down into Riley. Summers made him think about it. Riley drives kicks. You saw corner three just off the front of the rim. Zyder gets the rebound save as Stinson couldn't pull it down. Molenkopf drives. He goes up with it. He gets swatted. Lake Musall bringing it down against Reed Summers. He, Summers, great work. Tips it from behind. He's going to stop the momentum of the play. 109 left in the first half here. Alex Craig back in for the Comets. 28-15, Comets lead. 69 seconds to play in the half. Usall has it at the volleyball line. Down into Riley in the post. He's going to get fouled there. Foul there on Reed Summers, his first, team third. First free throw is good. And Reed Summers will take a little bit of a break after playing some really good basketball there. In for a lot of that second quarter. and uh, uh, Summers was a big part of that JV win earlier this evening. Yaden pulls down that rebound with less than a minute to play in the first half. Comet's probably going to try and look for something and Stinson just drives right by Riley and puts it in the two. Yeah, you, he's like, well, you know, we could have burned some time, but you're going to give me an open lane. We're just going to drive. Probably going to try and get another score here. Maybe even two more depending on how this North Miami possession goes. Riley shot up and good. 30 to 18 with 30 to go. And it looks like they might slow it down here. Under 30 left in the half. North Miami not going to leave him any space, though. And switch to a, a man look here. Stinson. Ten seconds. He's going to drive kick. Zyder thought about the three there. Kicks to Stinson. Hook three. Almost, almost banked it dropped. in. And at the end of two, it's casting 30. North Miami, 18, will be back for a halftime wrap-up of the first half. You've got a few minutes, though. Go ahead and top off your refreshments. You're watching Cast of Comets Basketball on, a, on the IHSA Champions Network, brought to you by RTC TV4. And welcome back to Caston High School, where the second half is underway. Lane Hook coming out of the locker room with a quick layup. Three ball put up by Jake Riley. Off the mark, Comets will get the rebound. Alex Craig quickly across the timeline, sends it down to Hook. Hook shot off the mark. Rebound North Miami. Pocket picked here. 
And we'll have a foul here on North Miami, number 24, Jake Musall, his second, team first. Stenson now across the timeline, sends it to the far wing in the hands of Lane Hook, back to uh, Alex Craig at the top of the key, down to Grant Yaden, Yaden for two. Comment pressure now, causes a turnover. Yaden grabbing that pass out of air, hands off to Stinson. Stinson now, top of the key, into the paint. Hop, stop, and pop, lays it in. Caleb Stinson putting two more on the board, and North Miami will burn a 30-second timeout to talk about those quick six Comets points with less than 90 seconds gone here in the second half. Comets now, full court pressure. And down into Riley. He's gonna nearly got turned over. Tell you I mean, what, I like it. All gas, no break. I thought he carried there, but uh, it wasn't called. And now a hook shot there by Drew Wright falls for two. Stinson down into the post. Yaden has it. Yaden puts it in for two. Wasn't getting the defense to bite on those pump fakes, so he just gave a little hip bump and went up with it. Meredith gets swatted by Yaden. Stinson trapped. Finds Hook, though. Hook, he's going to get stolen by Riley, though. Now Riley, he's going to put that layup long. Zyder has the ball now. Stinson brings it quick across. Now he slows down to start the offense. Pickett almost got a hand on that pass. Down into Yaden. Oh, great look there. Couldn't quite get it. Hooks on the floor, and now Musall goes, drives, and puts it in for two. Stinson tried to take the charge, couldn't get the call. 38-22, cast an advantage. Three minutes gone now in the third. Hook, farth corner. He's going to dish to Zyder. Stinson now. Craig, Craig's going to pass it down low to Hook. Hook, shot up and just a little long. Look like there's some contact on that ball at the release there. I thought he was going to try a left-handed hook shot. Now three by Drew Wright, doesn't fall. Hook can't pull down the rebound. It's tipped around and still tipped around, but Zyder pulls it out. Great hustle by Meredith to try and pull that ball away anyways. Stenson to hook in the corner three, just well short. Nothing but net, just, just didn't go through <laughs> first. Right, dumps the picket. Now to Musall. Riley, Jake Riley at the volleyball line. He's gonna pass it right into Caleb Stinson's hand. Stinson, stutter step puts it in for two. Lake Musall drives, it's gonna get stolen. Now Zyder has it. Zyder's gonna try and dish it down to Yaden, gets tipped around. Craig puts it in with an hand one. Jake Riley there picking up his second foul. And we're gonna have a full timeout called by North Miami. We'll be back after these words on RTC TV4. And welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Alex Craig at the line for the and one from that foul just before the break. Comet so far in the first half of the third, outscoring the Warriors in a three to one. Might have been icing time out there. And uh, free throw doesn't fall, so maybe it worked. Jake Riley gets the rebound. Loose ball though, Craig has it. He's gonna dump it down low to Klinger. Klinger doesn't hit it going to be pulled down by Lake Musall. Yeah, that's going to be a foul on Craig there. Uh, that'll be his second. Team first. Yeah. 
We're going to get a sub here. North Miami fans looking for a, an intentional call there. Well, Comets fans uh, looking for a foul on Musall. They kind of thought he hooked uh, Craig as they went down. I think that was just some good ball play in there. Jake Riley at the volleyball line sends it to Lake Musall. 2-3 zone by the Comets. Three ball on the way, off the mark. Loose ball pulled away by Grant Yaden. One thing I gotta say, the way these North Miami players hustle, trying to find loose balls, trying to get rebounds is just admirable. Josh Evans down low to Yaden. Yaden shot off the mark. Molenkoff pulls down the rebound though. He's gonna kick Carter Klinger. Can't get it to fall. Lake Musall down to Deersdorf. To be out of bounds off of Evan. Evans. And down to Riley. Riley just pulls up with it. We're gonna get a foul. Foul on Jake Riley going for the rebound. And that'll be his third. Team third. Molenkoff had him boxed out and he tried to pull pull away. Couldn't do it. Clinger. Yaden has it, gives it to Molenkoff. Back to Yaden. Clinger near wing. He's gonna lob it into Yaden. Yaden, shot fake, goes up, gets a foul called again. Found there on Drew White, his second, team fourth. Yaden at the line to shoot two. First free throw doesn't fall. Comet's really struggling at the free throw line tonight, Pete. Yaden's kind of had some struggles the past couple games. And that one's off the mark. Gets his own rebound, though. Gives it to Molenkoff. Molenkoff takes a dribble, puts it up. Riley pulls down the rebound. He'll get it up to right. Into Deersdorf in the corner. Yaden picks off that pass. He's going to work against Riley. Kicks to Molenkoff. Molenkoff jump stop, puts it up. That one's in for two. Comets now doubled up the North Miami score of 22. Minute a math problem for you at home. Minute 40 to go in the third quarter. Good ball movement. Baseline trap gets it out. Deersdorf deep three. That was from the next county over from their home county. It doesn't fall. Corbin Smith, Caleb Stinson. Back in for the Comets. Zyder and Yaden will get a break. 80 seconds left here in the third. Evans has it near side. Smith. Evans, corner three. Boom! Baby from downtown. Mount Olive. Evans didn't even look like he lined that up. He just caught the pass and let it fly. Riley, Musall three, doesn't fall. Rebounded by North Miami. Deersdorf thought about another deep three. Now Riley drives, spins, puts it up. That's in for two. Stinson brings it down quick. Clinger, drives, kicks. Evans, drives, kicks. Molenkoff, he'll drive baseline, put it up, and gets it to fall. 30 seconds to go, 49-24. Comets are in the lead. Deersdorf near wing. Esau, top of the key. Dishes down low to right. Right goes up. Shot off the mark. Molenkoff pulls down the rebound with 15 to go. Stenson with 10. 
We're going to get a timeout by Coach Davis. Full timeout. All right. Well, we're going to step away, say thank you to our sponsors. You're watching Cast and Commons Basketball here on RTC TV 4. Welcome back to Caston High School. 8.9 left to play in the third quarter. Caston up 49 to 24 over the North Miami Warriors. And Zyder looking for the inbound, gets it into Craig. Yaden puts it up and in. Zyder knocks it out of bounds with .8 to go. Ref got a, got a piece of that one. Pick it, heaves that one. It goes off the backboard. Wow, that's a lot closer than I would have given it credit for. All right, well, we're getting ready for fourth quarter action. We'll be back in a minute here on RTC TV 4. And welcome back to Caston High School. Eight minutes left to play here tonight. Caston with a 25-point advantage, 49-24, to 24, as North Miami starts the fourth quarter with possession. Lake Musall going to bring it up to start the fourth. Can't find an open man. Dishes near side to Gosnell. Pickett finds a backdoor. Riley shot just can't fall. Craig pulls down the rebound. Stinson bringing it up quick. He's going to drive kick. Craig wide open. Had a year to shoot that one. Lake Musall, heavy pressure. Down low into Stenson. Stenson, spin move. In for two, off the backboard. Great move by Caleb Stenson. He took that pick attempt personal. Musall, near side, pick it. He's going to drive. Kick back out, Gosnell. Down low. Yaden gets a hand on that one. Musall, kicks, near side, pick it. First minute of the fourth is gone. You saw Riley three. That one's off the back iron. Yaden pulls down the rebound. Now Hook. Hook goes up, puts it long. Craig gets the rebound, puts it in for two. Musil <laughs> crosses the timeline. 6.30 to go in the game. Kicks down low, Zyder just pulls that one down. Stinson uses screens, gives the hook. Hook drives, puts up one. Couldn't get it to fall, but he'll go to the line for two. Foul there on 24. Lake Musall picks up his third. Team first. First free throw is in. And Hook finally breaks the goose egg that the Comets have seen from the charity stripe all night. Second free throw rolls in. Got some good luck on that one. Carter Klingler back in for the Comets. Number three. Deerdorf and Wright back in for the Warriors. Deerdorf, he'll give it to Riley, near wing. Riley drives, pulls up, puts that one just a little too long. Loose ball, Smith pulls it up, dishes the Stinson quickly. Stenson drives, he'll put that one up and it's gonna be a foul. Two shots for Stenson. Foul there on Jake Riley, his fourth team second. First free throw is up and doesn't roll in for Stenson. Stenson, second free throw is good. 58-24 with six minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. 
Riley. The volleyball line kicks to Meredith. Meredith takes a couple dribbles, sends the Deerdorf. Pass tipped by Zyder to Smith. Smith dishes the clinger, loose ball, out of bounds, off of Gaz now. Yaden and Molenkov back in for the Comets. Cowboys seniors taking a seat here at senior night. Yaden Craig and the clear almost lost it. Smith Molenkov. Molenkov down low to Yaden. We're going to get a foul. Foul there on Drew Wright. His third. Team third. Craig looking to inbound, lob into Smith. Smith, that one's in. Smith is going to make the score 60 to 24. Right, top of the key. He's going to dish to Kale Deerdorf. Jake Riley, he's going to be fouled by Molenkoff there. Molenkoff. Picks up his first. I thought that Molenkoff committed a foul earlier in the game, but obviously I didn't have it written down, and that's why I was a little slow to. Well, there was a time there where I thought he should have, but he didn't. And uh, we'll get two more seniors taking a seat here. Evans and Summers in for the comments. Jake Riley. Riley bullies his way into the paint there. Clinger drives, kicks, Summers three. That one's just to the right. Molikoff with the rebound though. He puts it in for two. Jake Riley, volleyball line. One thing North Miami can say is that they only have one senior on this lineup. They're going to have a young, they have a young team. Uh, they're going to have a lot of starters returning next year. Actually, all their starters are returning. And, uh, you know, they're pretty, they can be a pretty good ball team. Yeah. As Riley spins, puts it up, and just short, it's going to be a foul on Jake Riley, and that'll put him out of the ball game. Yep, the only way to get experience is just get out there and do it. And so you, you're always going to have that slow start. That's, that's one thing about these past couple seasons for these Comets is they've had a lot of older classes. Uh, you know, Joey Spins class had five, six seniors. Uh, last year we had five, six seniors. And this year we have six seniors and, uh, you know, it's hard to get young guys playing time when you're playing that many older guys that are knowledgeable. We're going to get a foul here on uh, Max Summers. Summers picks up his first, team second. Caden Klingeman checks in for North Miami, wearing number 23. That's going to Gosnell will sit down for presumably the last time tonight. The only senior on North Miami's roster. Musall drives. He's going to get fouled and go to the line for an and one. Foul on number 13, Drew McGrew. That'll be McGrew's first, team third. Free throw up and rolls in. Good job there by Lake Musall. McGrew's going to bring it up for the Comets with two minutes to play here in the game. 62-29 lead. Josh Evans, top of the key, gives it to Carson Harness. Drew McGrew sends it over to Reed Summers. Summers drives, kicks. Evans. 
Younger Kyleth doing a great job of running the offense here. Summers. 90 seconds left to play here tonight. Evans three, just short of the, just to the left, short and to the left. Uh, North nope. Miami looking to move the ball around and make a hole. Give it number 12. So I'm going to guess Ming Lowry because that's the JV kid that has number 12 on his jersey. So uh, That should be Hayden Spin with number 12. Uh, I don't have it on uh, my... Uh, oh, yeah, well, we can't read. That would be why. <laughs> Words are hard. Numbers are harder. Under a minute left here tonight. 62-29 Comets lead. If you're in a high enough math class, they both go together, and it's really hard. And that's another two-quarter in Musall by Musall Lake put Musall. That in? It was a great, great effort by Musall to put that one in. Thomas moving the ball. McGrew, Evans. Evans at the volleyball line. Near side, Summers. Summers picks it up, sends it back to Evans near side. Under 30 as McGrew takes it to the volleyball line. Comet's going to presumably uh, just hold out for the last 15 seconds of this ball game. Skip pass to Evans. We're at 10. Five. Five. And that will wind down senior night here at the launching pad. Final score, 62-31. Comet's winning it here tonight. We're going to step away. We're going to count up the game stats and wait for Coach Davis to come up and talk with us. This has been Senior Night at the Launching Pad on RTC TV4.